Florida Horse Park was actually created in 1996 under the Department of Agriculture. Uh, it was reorganized in 2005, uh, but it really didn't take off until about the last five years. Uh, I think the, uh, the Florida legislator kind of realized how valuable the park was to the community, to Marion County, and to Florida itself. So they kind of started supporting it, and we're, uh, we're very excited to get their support and, and continue the growth. I'm really excited about some of the recent changes here at the park. The new arenas, the Martin Collins Klopp Fiber Arenas, were a huge added benefit and will allow us to bring in better, bigger shows, especially for dressage eventing and the hunter jumpers. Our goal is to obviously create a, an international competition facility that encompasses all breeds, all disciplines. We've got plans to, to promote the education of agriculture and the equine disciplines. Uh, and just make the facility an, uh, just an all-out facility for the people of Marion County, the people of Florida, the United States, and the international community. I've been coming to the park for years. My wife rides and competes here. I come out and ride with her as well. So working here for me is more of an opportunity to really move things forward and see a great facility grow, something that I've used for a long time myself. New events, events that have never been here before, and bigger events, we're really looking to get the community involved and be part of the team. For me, the Florida Horse Park is a sign of economic growth. So the more advanced we get as the Florida Horse Park, the more business we bring to the economy. We have five cave runs, we have festivals, we have rodeos, we have car shows, we have war reenactments. Uh, we literally have something for everybody and that, that's what truly makes the park unique. We get people from Barbados, from all over Europe, everywhere and it's wonderful and all the different events and horses they bring along with them. We're welcoming back Jay Hambly as course designer and builder. Jay is building for the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. Jay has also built 2008 Beijing Olympics. We're also excited to welcome back veteran course builders um, Tommy Neneman and Mark McCleary. They've been at the park for years so we're excited to have them back. We have a airway aerator that we just got to help improve our footing keep everything as soft as possible for the competitors. And we also have 600 yards worth of irrigation line that we can move to just about anywhere out on the cross country course. Almost, and we can get it to almost anywhere on property to help irrigate the, irrigate the grounds, keep things looking green, and also keep the footing soft on the courses. We really encourage spectators to come out for every show, but especially the eventing shows. It's basically the triathlon, but for horses. We have three different phases, dressage, show jumping, cross country. Saturdays are the best day to come because all three phases are running and you can see a little bit of everything. Even though we are located in the horse capital of the world, Marion County, we are definitely Florida's horse park.
story that started with the love of the horse. Seminole feed continues to push the highest of industry standards. Manufactured in the horse capital of the world, our equine-only mill in Ocala provides the safety and quality our horse customers have come to know and expect since we began in 1934. Performance for you means a horse that's happy and healthy. Seminole Feed, the world's best equine feed. Guts, glory, ram. Welcome back to the Ocala International uh, three-day event. Uh, I'm joined today, this morning, by Alex O'Neill. We are going to have a fun time commentating on the cross country this Excited morning. Excited to be here. It's a beautiful day. I know people watching this up north are going to hate us for complaining <laughs> that it's 90 degrees and the sun is shining, but we're certainly lucky to be enjoying it out here. What do you think of the, the facility this year, Kathy? It looks like they've done some nice they improvements. Have, and a, I mean, Jay Hambly's taken over as the designer for the cross-country course this year, and I think it looks fantastic. Like you said earlier, it was a little bit soft maybe last year, and I think it's definitely stepped up to the plate. This is a qualifier for the 2019 Pan Am Games for our young horses so and possibly young riders. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, so I think that it's going to be a great, yesterday was a wonderful day of dressage. The facility here at the Florida Horse Park has just uh, grown by leaps and bounds over the years that I've been coming down here. And uh, the footing is perfect for the dressage arenas. The show jumping arena is fabulous. And I've been watching them for the last three days because I drove down with a student from Kentucky and they've been watering and aerating and making sure that the footing is absolutely wonderful for the cross country today. Definitely. And I think it's really, um I th okay. okay, so we've got a little delay coming from cross country, but so, we will just keep going. So we'll just recap the uh, two-star dressage, uh, fifth place, uh, Liz Halliday Sharp. She likes those gray horses, she doesn't does. she? <laughs> this is a really, really sweet mare, Duska Abbey, owned by Prue Dawes, and I think it's this mare's second CCI, if wow. I remember right. And then we've got Kyle Carter on Galliard's Lancer. This is a newer horse for him. He's riding for Brandon Blackstock in Savannah. So what a promising youngster. This exactly. guy looks like he really can do all three phases. And then we've got Bethany Hutchins Kristen on Galuk HBF. And this horse, I don't, I don't know the story on it, but I know it does this event. It's done this two, three times, and it's always competitive. So I'd look for a clear round today. And then Lauren Kiefer on Get Gaudy, or she got from Matt Flynn as a youngster. And then the great Leslie Law, Olympic gold medalist on Bandit Boy Delaney. So we've got kind of a stacked top four there. We do, and the scores are very close. And then fifth place with uh, Leslie Grantlaw riding Lady Chatterley. 
And this and is a this beautiful is a mare. Beautiful mare. Yeah, she Very had a competitive. Great finish at the Jockey Club in the three star long last fall. And I would bet she'd be looking for a quick round across the country to prove her worth for the Pan American Games. Then yeah. Allie Knowles, Casarino. Riding. Yep. Dana Cook on F E whole lot of Rosie. I like that name. And as you can see, those scores are really tight. They are, they are. And then last year's champ, Liz Halliday Sharp, Cooley Quicksilver, owned by the Monster Partnership, who's I know backed by the, the Decino brothers, who are a big uh, supporter of the sport and, and the Ocala horse properties, and I'm sure they're going to be out here watching their horse go today. And then she's, these scores, you know, the, the getting across the country jumping clear, so uh, they'll, if you have a refusal on course, um, you get 20 penalties. And then the time penalties, so we get 0.4 for each second over. And it'll be interesting to see the time this year. I know in years past, because it's such a flat piece of ground, it can be it, pretty easy to get the time. It can. Um, but I think there's some different lines, some different, you know, they're using this back section of the field that I've never seen used before. So right. maybe they're yep. going to add that to the, yeah, to the mix, and it'll that, be interesting. That'll be interesting. And the other thing that I was commentating on uh, is the flat ground is great. Uh, because it seems faster, but if you have hills, when you get to go down the hill, the horse can catch his breath a little That's bit. That's true. And yeah. so, so the time I think is going to be a, a big factor here uh, today, as far as the at the end of the day scores, Absolutely. who can go clear and inside the time. Yep. And if you do get, um, if you do go over the time, you get 0.4 for every second over. And um, there are other faults that have been uh, uh, added in the last few years, um, yep. the frangible devices. So some of the cross country jumps are built with frangible devices where MIMS clips or pins are used. So if the horse hits it at a certain direction to prevent a rotational fall, um, they can compromise that pin and you get, what is it, 11, 11 penalties 11 for that? 11 penalties for a broken pin. And yep. then along with that, so that can be something that, you know, maybe you have a good round and right. the horse makes a little mistake. That can be something that really saves you. It kills you to have one because you can have a beautiful round, right. sit down on a pin, you break one, and <laughs> exactly. then all of a sudden you're out of the mix. Yep. Um, but, you know, if it keeps you on the on top exactly. instead of in the dirt, then that That's might be right. worth it. <laughs> and I think, dart. Yeah, instead of lawn dart. And I think right. we've all been there. Yep, but, we uh, have. <laughs> it'll be interesting too, Kathy. So you're a, you're a course designer, so you might know a little more about it than I do. But I know the the new, there's some new rules with missing flags and corners and stuff like that. And there's some, some debate about it. So it'll mm -hmm. be interesting today to see how many flags get taken out, how many horses are deemed to have jumped 50%. Uh, exactly inside, inside um, those flags and now they have official videographers yep. at those obstacles and they're usually mostly at the corners yep um maybe some skinnies but it's usually mostly the corners and or an angled line that the horse could start to duck out and and then that videographer is going to have the picture of how much of the horse actually cleared the fence to me I was watching at Red Hills and where those videographers had to stand, are they in the line of the horse's vision? Uh, there was one question I had. I was like, ooh, I don't know if I like that. But yep. we're trying to keep the uh, sport safe and fair. And, um, and and trying to take some of that discretion out of exactly. it maybe. And, and the, because when you're in the heat of the moment, as yeah. you know, and your horse goes up and goes a little right on a right-handed corner, you're like, did I clear that or didn't I clear that? Yep. And, and um I think you could ask, um, but it's still in the heat of the moment. Are you going to stop and have a discussion with the fence judge? No, you're going to make a decision yeah. in a nanosecond and keep on going or or know that you didn't get it done. Right. Absolutely. I know you can ask to have the flag put back up. That's correct. And yep. that you visually that. for the horse is is important, I think. And I think, you know, my, my kind of theory now when I'm out jumping and I'm not sure is, is okay, maybe you stop and ask. but unless it's my foot that hits the flag, right. you know, I think you got to be pretty worried yep. that maybe you were outside that line, exactly. especially when your adrenaline's up and you don't right. know what's going on. <laughs> right. you, you, know, you have no idea where your horse is, yep. every inch of your horse was going through that obstacle. Yeah. So, so it's going to be interesting. So those are other factors that have been added to, um, you know, the final, final score at the end of the day. And then another kind of interesting change this year that um, wasn't talked about as much. And then we all went to our first event and, got surprised by it was the the new time penalty rule in the show jumping which i think is really interesting which is 0.4 for every second over just like cross country which i love i, I thought think it's great. i yeah. thought the one penalty per second over was a little bit harsh and i'm glad yeah. that has uh changed 
So we're just having a look now at uh, Jessica Phoenix. She's riding Watson GS, who is an eight-year-old 16-2 Tricaner. Jessica is a very seasoned competitor from Canada, and she's going to be our leader. And there she goes out of the box. And there she goes. This is a really big, beautiful horse bred by the Galton Stud up in Canada, who just has a lot of horses from. And I think, if I remember correctly, it's a greener horse, so she'll look to give it some confidence. She's set out really nice over one, and you can see she's just cruising. She's throwing the rain at him, saying, saying come on, come let's on. go. Got to set the tone early, and, and the first few fences do just that. N nice galloping fences, get the horse out in front of your leg. And eight years old is young, so beautifully done there. And you just love to watch these riders ride out of stride. And for those of you watching, take note. <laughs> this this could, be, it could be a master class. It's a greener horse, so anything can happen. But Jess has certainly got as much experience as anybody going out of the box today exactly. at the three-star long level. It looks like she's headed up to three here for number four here. Yep. Good jump over that. And then we come to our first uh, combination, which is quite early, the first water. And she's just saying, hey, hang on a second. They have to be quite brave, but nicely down into the water. And you can see there she just winds her hands to shorten her reins there to give him a really good connection to that next fence. Exactly. And that was really well done. Now she's coming up behind us here in the media tent. We don't get to turn around. I guess we could turn around and look. Yeah, that nobody yeah. will know the difference. Nobody <laughs> won't because they're looking at the screen. <laughs> Here she comes, and she's cruising. So she's going to make a little rollback turn. Yeah, this little rollback turn where you can just, the turn will set your speed and balance. You'll hear, hear me say that all day long. Uh, but that's what I love about this course, especially for uh, the two-star, um, for some of the people that are doing this for the first time. Uh, the turn will set the speed and balance, and, and that just makes it a whole lot easier riding around so now we come up to the oh uh, let's see yeah the the horseshoe to corner is it yes I believe. Uh -huh. seven a b yeah yep. so up through the little half keyhole horseshoe dead straight yep. to that corner and that that's really kind of the ride. first accuracy question on the course yep. um and that's the corner we were talking about where if the horse went a little bit right you'd have someone there with a video to say you Yay did or it or you didn't do yep. it. <laughs> exactly. And this horse looks really confident, so it's a good testament to the course designer. Jay's done a good job. He's presented enough for the horses to see, but this horse is still kind of getting in a rhythm and, and seems to be taking it out of stride. So that's it's nice to see out of the first horse on course. And that was interesting use of the, you know, there's a whole big bank complex there, and he just used a little bit of the terrain to ask another accuracy question. Yep. So you had a right-handed corner, then you had a left-handed skinny brush. So now you have ascertained whether your horse is straight on the day and yep. what adjustments you might need to make for later in the course. Definitely, and that, that mound is a little bit of a surprise to the horses. The right. little bit of undulation just wakes them up and makes them go, oh, what's that? And right. then they have to really look to the rider exactly. for support. Yep, for sure. Now she's got a big long, long gallop, gallop down to nine. Long downhill gallop down so to the Seminole. Here I would bet she'd just look to maybe look at her watch and say, okay, here we yep. go. I'm on time or I'm not. Now exactly. we've got Allie Knowles on Casarino out, this beautiful white horse. And she looks like she's just popped over two, maybe headed up to three. She's got big, long stride. Yeah, this is Nicely a really good looking horse. There. Just over two there. Yeah, just two, yep. Big little, jump in little, the little underneath yeah. that. But then they get to, again to come off a little bit of a turn to the double roll brush before the first water. And I think, what do you think about that double roll brush? Do you think that's just a little bit of a speed bump, Kathy, to get them yeah, get them some confidence, yep. get them in rhythm? Yep. And then this, you know, I think this water is a, a kind water for the, obviously just to get their feet wet. Yeah. And but bravery yep. asking horses to jump into water is you know we school it all the time because they're they'll jump anything the first time they think their feet are hitting a surface that right. looks funny then when their feet go through the surface yeah. they're like whoa exactly right <laughs> so now Allie's coming up behind us again to jump the Seminole wagon 
And that's a nice, I love the way they decorated that. It's beautifully decorated with all the feed bags. Yeah, and they did a great job. And, and I thought just keep I thought coming. walking that, it, that it was just a bit to look at, but I think the horses are, they seem to be in and enough of a lick to not pay any attention. That's Maybe right. it just makes them that much more careful to I give think, them a good jump. Yeah, and it's got some a little bit of straw on top. And a lot of these fences will have a little brush or a little softness on the top, depending on the question that's being asked. Now she heads to 7AB, so we'll look at how many strides she gets down to this corner to see if it compares to Jess. Because we all will. One, two, three, four, five. Beautiful five Head strides there. And that there. looks like it was the regulation e step that they had in mind. Exactly. That was really well done. Yeah, so your course designer is going to set certain distances, places, and the riders walk it. And, and when it's straight on like that, it's pretty simple. When you have a turn, it can be a little questionable as to how you jump in versus yep. how you how many strides you're going to get to jump out of. And, and what you're sitting on too, huh? Absolutely, short strided, long strided. Whoa! And he left out a little bit. Yeah, a right little, little bit of a <laughs> little bit of a miss there. It looked like maybe they just weren't quite sure which step they were going to go on. But exactly. again, good on his tour. Sally held her position, and that yep. worked out well. And you just slip the reins and say, "Good boy." Pat him on the neck and. Off you go. And that mound really adds to the question. An angle brush straight on is not that hard. Right. You put that little bit of undulation, and then you're talking about something pretty tricky. And here comes the second Jesse, water. The second water. This horse is full of running. Ooh, cruising down that. That was that four, skinny. wasn't it? Yeah. I think. Or, oh, we lost it. Over and the then out. out over the skinny. And another great improvement there, that second water. I love that, that second water. That is water. brand yep. new from this summer, mm -hmm. and yep. it is great. I think it gives the young horses a lot of confidence. I think exactly. there's a lot you can do with it as a course designer at the upper levels. So yep. really exciting stuff. Now we've got Lindsay Lanier on Severance Pay, 12-year-old, 17-2 hand Irish Nine. board horse. Going up to number two, the log on the on the box there. It looks like she's just still just kicking him up there into the bridle, making yeah, sure so he's taking her. like, where am I going? Yep. What, what's out here today? That was nicely done. Really, really well really done good. there. Lindsay's from Opelika, Alabama. Not too many. I don't know too many eventers from Alabama, but I, I know she either, spends some time in Florida. Good shot that was there, nice. number four. Really good shot. Then you'll see, just set up a bit, and then. A little bit of a peak, but that's good. Sometimes you want them to peak a little bit because you don't want them to be yeah. what we call you know, dumb brave. <laughs> what I like about that water too, Kathy, is they are actually jumping it. It's exactly. not a log that they just skim and they crawl all fall over. Off the edge they sometimes. actually get yep. some air, so even if yep. they jump half as much as they normally would, you still have a really good chance of landing exactly. with confidence and getting on to the next one. And jumping water to water is, um, they've got a simpler question of a more difficult question That's right. during the course, which is what the course designer meant to do. Great jump over the seminal table there. We should be, um, Jessica Phoenix should be getting close to yeah. finishing. And I would bet you if anybody were gonna get the time, it would, it be, would Jess. be Jess. So and that. that'll be, you know, and the riders are, you know, watching the clock, they're seeing, they, they'll talk to each other. How did this ride, how did that ride? When they come back and finish. One, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. It's a little five. bit like, where am I? Oh, right here. Yeah. Little, right here, little right wiggle, now. But again, the, <laughs> the question was presented fairly enough to where the horse could exactly. kind of land unsure and then finish up very confident. Yeah. So we'll see if she gets a good jump at this little brush. This seems to, I, I think people maybe are falling asleep a little bit maybe, at this because yeah. I would walk it and not think much of it. But yeah. the horses are a little bit like, where are we going? Yeah. There's usually a, a bank there that they right. pop off. And they're up. So. And then. Down. Yeah, so just a little, little, little backing off of the yep. pace there, but mm -hmm. a good jump. Yep, nothing, good jump. nothing to be worried about. So our next starter, who should be going out here, is Leslie Law in first class, who's an eight-year-old, 163 Oldenburg. This is from the QC Stables in Belgium, and it was produced by Kai Stefan Meyer. This is a really exciting young horse that we'll see in a minute. That's Allie There's again. Allie coming in, she's coming into the second water. You gotta hammer up that hill. Give him some confidence. Two, three, four, five, six. So she did one more than Jesse. Just a little. Just a little bit. Pop there. This yeah. horse. I don't. It's he hard looks, to tell. He looks, looks maybe a, a little tired. A little bit tired. Yeah, maybe. And I know he did the the three star <coughs> long at the Jockey Club last year, which yeah. should be a, you know maybe the terrain 
maybe a step up, maybe yep. the the difficulty of the course, but softer. And then we've got Leslie Law here on this beautiful gray. I love this. Uh, he's right. Looks like he's riding in a shadow roll, which you don't usually see yeah. too much cross country. And I think this, you know, having watched tell. this horse for a while, I think it, it's quite a big horse and it yeah. does get a bit strong. So maybe it just, I think it maybe gets a little bit above the bridle and the shadow roll. It just Help, helps right. it to take yeah. that look in the last minute and, and be careful to look after both of them. Good jump there. And this horse has a, a lot, that, that certain look to it that yeah. I know Leslie <laughs> Shearlow had that won the, oh, oh no. Oh, that's un unfortunate. What a bummer. It looked like yeah. it just surprised him, didn't yep, it? Yep, it did. Uh, Leslie was like expecting him to go into it and yeah. he didn't. And again, this horse has done a, a three-star long before, but this is why you come and do another one. Sometimes exactly. you get a little lucky and this horse on, just buddy. looks a little yeah. green there. Yeah, yep. just a baby. Oh, and that, that's, that's really, really disappointing, isn't it? Because yeah. this horse had a great score on the yeah. flat. And yeah. I know he. it's a good show jumper. He would have been looking exactly. for a fast, clear round today. So now uh, w the rider needs to make a decision now. I mean, yes, you're going to gallop it and jump the fences, but now since you've had the stop, a lot of times you'll see the riders not necessarily push that's right. to make the time because there's no point in it because you're out of, quote, contention. That's for right. It. And you've only got so many of these big three-day exactly. events in them, don't you? Yep, and as we talked about before the break, um, this is what we call CCI long format. So it is a longer course. The optimum time on this course is eight minutes twelve. There I you think. go. I had the wrong sheet up. So, um, and I would say, from a, a rider perspective, that would be on the short side for a three star. Would you yeah. be yeah. thinking the mm -hmm. same thing? Yep. And I know the Jockey Club last year was ten minutes long. And this is just a hair shorter. And your normal uh, horse trial courses or a CCI short course would be somewhere around. Yeah, usually know, five to six five minutes. Five to six minutes. So back in the old days when we did the long format, that's why this is labeled CCI long. Because we don't do the roads and tracks and steeplechase anymore. Right. Except for, you know, lower level novice training and sometimes preliminary. So now let's see how this horse handles the up and down over oh, panning to oh we went got back good defensive they got it done. ride there very from defensive Leslie. again that brush as we say surprised him in the back seat yeah. <laughs> but that's what makes the good riders good and the ones that are learning not as good is that's being right. able to react to what's going on as david o'connor says if you think about the moment you miss the moment that's right and a lot of times you get that experience just yep. 10 seconds later than you need then it you need you? it yep and that horse looks quite good going along that's Julie Wolford, I believe, is it? Yep, starting yep. on I owe a lot of money. I like that name. <laughs> that's a great we name. We could all have our horses named that, yeah, right? <laughs> Eight-year-old thoroughbred. So he's young for this. Julie comes down for the, for the from Kansas. She spent some time in Florida, and she's been producing this horse for a number of years now. She used to have a really great horse called Buenos Aires, and exactly. I would bet you this one is kind of the next horse that she's looking to. He doesn't quite want to be told what to on. do right yeah. there. <laughs> Full thoroughbred would, would have a little more to say in yeah. the beginning of the course, wouldn't yeah. it? A little bit of a stutter in there, Four, but five. Yep. A really good job from Julie just yep. sitting behind, supporting him and saying, come on, get up there, let's go. You got this, buddy. And you can put your hands down and let him go. That's the other thing I love about you know, a long format, you've got so many, so much more um, time that you have those places where you can just put your hands down and let the horses cruise. And That's right, and I think it's a little bit of a misconception now with people thinking, oh, this horse is only going to do short formats. Right, It'd exactly. be competitive because you actually have to have quite a fast horse to yes. go at the same speed. So let's say 540 meters a minute right. for yep. six minutes. If you've got the extra two minutes, you've got time to exactly. actually catch That's right. the time. That's right, yep. And again, the, you know, it's not the fastest horse that's going to make the time today. It's the most efficient, right? It's how, yep, how so few steps. How ridable and everything right. else. Yeah, the more you have to slow them down and, or, or kick them forward. See there, you know, this guy to me is just a little bit like every time she sits up and says, you know, balance for something, he's got something to say to her. But yep. that's where he is in his career, too. Right. Yeah, young horse maybe yep. doing his first two-star. I don't know this horse too well, but 
I would bet you it's on the greener side of this level. Exactly. And Julie's been around at a bunch of these tracks, so she'll be a good person to kick it around. Great ride there. Yeah, really that good. was awesome. Very nice and forward. And she just used the hill to set him up. She exactly. didn't actually take much of a pull. The hill to. set yep. him up, and then she just kept coming with the leg. Yep. So we're not getting a feedback on the time yet, but hopefully that will. Yeah, I was just we'll having a look out. to see what's oh, going you, on because for sure it. Jess has gotten around yeah, and exactly. I, she looked to be clear from yep. what we saw. So see we'll have to see how the time's riding. See what's going on. That sounds good. All right, so who do we got going out there next? We got Katie Rupel. She's a definitely experienced competitor. And this is another full thoroughbred that's got a really big, beautiful step. Yeah, it's a good-looking horse, yeah. isn't it? Mm -hmm. Nine She's years old Greek ready Empire. To rock, ready to rock and roll today. It's a nice breeze we have this morning. It is. It'll be interesting to see how the horses cope with the weather, right? So it's yeah. it's early, but it is hot. I yeah, mean, there's it a nice is hot. breeze, but I know last year it got really hot, and a lot of the horses that maybe wouldn't normally get tired ended got up coming tired. in with quite high temps. And yeah. Yeah. And then you go home to the barn and spend, you know, 12 hours making sure they're up for the job the exactly. next day. Whoa, she's like, come back here, buddy. <laughs> just come on. Like, this is going to be difficult with your head down there. Yeah. Yeah. Good jump there. So we'll see. I bet you this one just smokes into the water. She probably doesn't want him to smoke. She's bringing yeah, him back quite a like, bit saying, hey, dude. Jump up. Because he just is a little bit. Woo. Whoa. <laughs> and a little skip. Good recovery that, the, there. The shape of that fence in the in the water. I mean, both of them, but the shape of the fence in the water is very friendly. Yeah, you can get away with they a lot get, there. Yeah, exactly. Now she's coming behind us. All good. And um, again, to me, he's just running quite strong. Yeah. She's having to take a little bit of time. Say, pay attention, dude. And that table there, if it, you know. If, uh, Those are the kind of fences I like to just kind of let him run into, exactly. to be honest. The straw's right. going to yeah. give. He right. kind of go, all right. It's like, this is your right, wake-up wise call. guy, here <laughs> yeah. you go. Wake up. <laughs> you can pull my arms out all you want, but you're going to be the one that hits your front toes on it. Yep. Now, I bet you this one gets a little short in the five. That yeah. would be my guess because he just gallops across the ground a little yeah, more than other covers. ones we've seen. One, two, three, four, yeah, yeah, five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Stay here, dude. Good, honest horse, though. He yeah, seems very to really want to do the job. And they look. They look for the flags. They go right between the flags. She's really having to say. Easy, fella. Easy, buddy. Ooh, oh, yeah, man. That's a bummer. Oh. He was just a little bit on his head, and then she just leaned at him, as yeah. we would say, a little bit. She just bit. made a bit of a move, yep. and that was the yep. wrong one. A little bit what you're hoping they kind of burn off in the first minute. Exactly. And I think and it I just think surprised that, him a yeah, little bit. Yeah, because he's not even really looking. No. It's like, come on, buddy, get your eye forward. That's a real bummer. And then she's got to try it again from the same approach. And that's, Good boy. you know... It's so hard when they run out on a quote skinny because a lot of times the approach back to it is not as good. That's and right. Or once that door has been opened, yep. it is hard to shut it, especially yeah, it on a course. That's why sometimes they'll have what we call black flag options where um, if you do have a run out somewhere, they have a different fence that would cost you a whole lot more time. But, but you can keep on question. going. That's exactly. Right. And now finish. we've got Kendall Lahari on Marvin, a seven-year-old thoroughbred. Kendall riding for Canada. Rides a bunch of horses for the winter down here in, yeah. in Florida. She's been coming down here a long time. Well, we got a little flat and fast over that one. Yeah, this thing <laughs> likes to run too. It does. And Kendall's a, a quick rider. I yeah. remember her old Daily Edition horse yes. at Rolex just ripping around. Yeah. <laughs> well, there. Good ride there. Took care of that. Didn't yeah. You? That was awesome. Easy. Easy peasy. And 
this horse seven years old, 17 so hands. So this would be the first year it could compete at this level. Exactly. So he would have only moved up. Yeah, this spring. This spring, that's yep. right. And uh, seven is young and seven and 17 hands. Now we're settling into a little bit of a. And I don't know what Kendall's plan for this horse would be as far as it's, it's kind of long-term career. Maybe right. thinking, I, I would bet you it'd be green for the Pan American Games this yes. year. Uh -huh. But, you know, the only thing that everybody has in common at the Pan Am Games is they all applied. Right, exactly. So you never have right. any idea who ends up there, right? <laughs> yep. Whoever's sound and up to the job. Yep. And this horse, to me, just looks like he has an easy time galloping across he the does. ground. Like maybe yep. he's a bit strong, but he's in kind of the right balance. Exactly. So he's always ready to jump out of that step. We'll see if it works or if I just gave her the kiss of death here <laughs> to the angle. No, brush. we take no responsibility yeah. for that. Oh, you oh, did. Oh, bummer. Yeah, and it just surprised him. I wonder yeah, if maybe uh -huh. she just kind of thought he'd pick it off and just needed it. a little more support there from Kendall. Yep. Yeah. Not taking that one for granted. Yeah. Anybody listening that has to go in this class, ride the angled brush. Exactly. Don't take it for granted. Jay's trying to pull a fast one. Yeah. <laughs> it was that, that's two now that have uh, had trouble there. Yeah, Katie and Kendall both. Yep. Mm-hmm. Now we've got Dana Cook next on a whole lot of Rosie. Whole He's lot of Rosie. Another really fancy mare from yeah. the Frederick's Equestrian Program. Who, um, there she is there. Scored well in the dressage. Yeah, this is a really stunning mare. She's got a lot of a lot of swing in her flat work. She's really, really stunning. Woohoo. So miss there Let's for Dana. Just yep. a little miscommunication. Little wake up call there. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Let's get her back on her feet. There you Good go. Good jump there. Again, that, that fence, there's not much to it. So no. if they're getting a little strong, maybe you and just put your hands down courses. and go, hey, yeah. all right, yeah, smarten up, come on. Yep. Because you don't want to do it at the water, which no. is coming up very quick. Good jump there. Nicely done. Makes the turn to number five. Really setting their back a bit. You want to bring them. You want to bring them back so you can ride them forward. You don't want to st still be pulling on them. That's right. That was the best we've seen that done. That the mare just dropped down yep. beautifully, uh -huh. kicked up behind, yep. landed, got the regulation stride to the little roll top in the water, and now is cruising up to the seminal fence here. You can hear that breathing in the background. That was beautiful. Beautiful written. shot. Land and go. And you can That's see she's starting to soften con. the rain there. She's yeah. starting to be able to let her go a little right. bit without having to kind of exactly. tell her what, what to do every step of the way. That's right. And now. So this is a smaller mare, so we'll see if she gets the five strides. One, two, three, four, five. Nice Perfect. done. Really good. All right, let's see how she does the brush. The skinny brush. Yeah, the bogey fence. The bogey as we're fence learning. so and far. We, we haven't been able to see past that second water. No. So it'll be interesting to see kind of how that sorts some of the riders out. I know there's a real there's an angle, tricky coffin. Tricky. Yep. Mm -hmm. There's a coffin back there. Um, they've already done the coffin, I think, after they after we see them at the second water. Right. Um, but then they have um, two big tables on a related distance, and yep. then the next to the last combination yeah. is little, quite a quite little difficult set of turning brushes, turning yeah, those brushes are tricky. That, um, that you don't have a lot of approach to, which yeah. at that point, but I thought he was being kind too. Near the end of the course, their their uh, verticals yep. with brush on them. Yep, and quite um, small. So that if you know the horse is a little tired, you're gonna get home safely. Yep. Yeah, you're but like I said, those turning tables earlier are a little bit bigger. Yeah, you've kind of got one shot at those, <laughs> yep, don't exactly. you? Yep, exactly. Yep. So we'll we'll see. Okay, so Ashley Muschel at Emporium, 17-3 hand Dutch Warmblood, 10 years old. Yep. This is a big, beautiful horse. It's 
seems to be just Got cruising a great at gallop. the right pace. Yeah, look yeah. at those ears. It's like, where are we going? Different look at. Great jump at number two. Yeah, beautiful. And sometimes these big warm blood horses, they don't look like they're going quite as quick. But they but are they're covering efficient, ground. Right? Yeah. yeah, exactly. Beautiful jump there. And again, if you can keep the same rhythm all the way around and it not have to it, fight with them too it much, makes you it end easier up being on quite everybody. quick. That's yep. right. <laughs> you make the time and it's easier on both the horse That's and the right. rider. Watching a couple of those earlier ones, I was like, oh man, you're gonna be exhausted by the time yeah. you finish. And this but one a lot of these really horses go out like a house on fire. And yeah. then after the they first three jumps, they're like, oh yeah, just kidding. Yep. <laughs> Yeah. Wow, what a One, jump. Two, Sit up, Ashlyn. Come on, girl. Oh, oh bummer. What a bummer. Oh. Uh, I so. think if she just kept her eye and yeah. pointed, it, it might have been in four, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think bummer. it would have got done. You know, and she obviously knows the horse. She was getting quite defensive she about was. six strides out. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. good honor that she got him in the water, but yep. maybe just overrode a hair and yep. needed to be a little quicker to react on yeah, the landing exactly. side to get the, the beat Bless done. Her heart. What a bummer. That, that is and, and a bummer. That is that moment where you got to just go, okay, I'm, I'm still here. It right. cost me a lot of money to get here. Exactly. It cost me a lot of runs. So yep. let's just get the and course think, done well and yeah, have a and nice think, sound horse to go yeah, home with. Exactly. And, and get the mileage. I think that, um, I don't know if you've seen this, Alex, but I've seen it um, a little bit where someone has a stop and they're like, oh, I'm going to pull up. And it's like, you, you got just keep going you yeah know, you've you spent all this money to get here go get the mileage and absolutely keep, yeah you know and, and, my and instead of it if it's the not quote a qualifying score and right. that's as you know where they're really again going back to safety and everything else yeah. um, which is i don't disagree with but i do disagree if you've had one stop early on to pull up and go home because yeah. it's a, a a long time to the next one <laughs> absolutely you know and and the big thing when you come away from these shows is you go, okay, I jumped angle brushes, I did right, this. Exactly. You want to add you it can, all to you, your repertoire, yeah, and then you go right. to the next one, and you go, okay, uh, hey, I I've already done did all that. this. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I agree wholeheartedly. Yeah, and this horse, he just, you know, green mistake. He jumped in big. Yeah, she he missed the beat. Not the end of the world. Yeah, nope. Now let's see. He's like, where are we going here? That was... Good ride there. Very you know, good she ride. got she put him close to it to be extra <laughs> yep, kind of exactly. sure of herself. Yep. But good honor. Yep. Really made that happen. Now we've got Dana going into the second water. A little, little lazy up front. Yeah, might good be a little tired. There. But like you said, Kathy, this is at the end of the course yeah. after that coffin. Yeah, so exactly. It's interesting though. These horses, you know, there's no terrain, but they are looking tired. So yep. the course is taking it out of them. Like I said, you, you know, know sometimes if you don't have a hill to go down to catch your breath, I know just from the little running that I did, yeah, <laughs> I was yeah. like downhill I liked, <laughs> uphill I didn't, but you could, you could catch your breath. And the same, you know, I know riding at Kentucky after you did the hollow and you had that long downhill gallop was yeah. when you could kind of <sighs> take a breath, get your wind back. The horse does the same thing and then you're on to the next. Now we've got Hallie Coon and Cooley SOS, a really fancy eight-year-old Irish horse. Yeah, very nice. Source from Richard Sheen. And this horse had another good finish at the Jockey Club last fall, so she'd be looking to just add another two-star to him, maybe thinking about a move-up later three. in the We're year. Three-star, three. Three that's yeah, right. Yeah, I know. I, it I, was two-star when it, she did it last that's year. That's right. Now it's all been upgraded. That was beautiful. That was water. really well done. Really nice. And Hallie spent some time in England last year, and to mm -hmm. me, it, it's really made her. I mean, she, yeah. she's riding great. You know, all of her horses are going well. She's got a really sweet mare going to Kentucky in a couple yep, weeks. Yeah, exactly. Yep. And she's really becoming a, a top rider. You can see that, she just looks comfortable going yeah, fast. Just, yeah, you know, and that's just come that's out of stride. You that's what, that's you, what you learn to do. <laughs> yeah. And it's it's. Um, I was lucky enough to spend some time in England too, competing, and it just. Uh, we have it all here, but you can do so much more of it over there in shorter amounts of time. Yeah. Now she's coming up to the half keyhole. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh. Ooh. Just and a little, a little. Just came in there. a little hot there. Yeah. Just needed to settle. She got a beautiful shot to the first one. She did. But then you either got to keep going for one last. Exactly. Or, or yep. really kind of. Yep. choke him to the five but good boy you know he didn't move he just shortened up and right. said okay no yeah. problem yeah he stayed dead straight 
and again there was a little brush on it so yeah that helps Good both job the horse on, and the rider on jay's part to just make sure you can get over it yep. with a little mistake Good ride there. So the word's getting back because you can tell yeah, <laughs> by the way the horses are there. riding. I mean, the, the way the riders are riding that fence. And that's what's going to happen is that something amiss will happen. Or the like I said earlier, the, the riders come back to the box. They communicate with the other competitors that are heading out and yep. haven't been on the course yet and say, you got to be careful here or that's riding good. Right. Or, you know, and they give them a report of how it's going. And, um, and you'd be able to see, too, I think, from the warm-up kind of how yep. hot the horses are coming in, whether exactly. they're really moving still, whether they're coming in a little labored. Right. And, and maybe yep. that makes you back off the pace in the yep. beginning. Yeah, exactly. Yep. All stuff And how easy is the, to. the time to get. Yep. Maybe that we, we haven't been able to actually look at that, but our riders, is the time easy to get, and you don't have to go as fast yep. early if you have control over that. Right. <laughs> And that looks like Jenny Jarnstrom on yep. Kalisha Zed, eight-year-old Swedish warm blood, who I'd bet you anything was bred by her mother in Sweden. I'm Jenny's sure. Jenny's got a lot of yeah, good horses she does. from there. Yep. She's cruising. Cruising. And this is another one that really loves the cross country, can get quite strong. So we'll exactly we'll see how she does on the time, whether she kind of uses that extra extra two minutes to kind of let her burn it off and right grow exactly. up or whether she gets a little argumentative and tired yeah good setup here from jenny oh a little sketchy peak. little peak and how quick was jenny there to get back in right the attack to that say, was hey, solid come on you got this a little bit where ashlyn just got popped a bit okay. loose and jenny was able to just stick it a little bit more yeah <laughs> this mare is cruising. She's like, bring it. I got this. Flying Whoa. over the I think that was wagon. the fastest I've seen around yeah, the turn that over that. Yeah, that was really nice. That was beautiful. You just don't really need to take a tug there. No, it coming. backs them off just enough, yep. doesn't it? Yeah, they put all those feed bags on it. My young horse was looking at it going, what is yeah. that? <laughs> Ooh, a little, a little bit long. of an open step. Oh, and good girl there. Yeah, she clever. Can see the brush clever, flying clever. off. Yep. <laughs> you know, and that's a testament of a good event horse to be able to hold their shape when yep. things really go wrong. Exactly. And she jumped up really well there and made a, a nice effort for Jenny. All right, so here she comes to the bogey fence. The bogey see what fence. We got here. Jenny looks ready She's for on it. it. Good girl. And you can see she just, she just jumped the right side yeah, there, didn't exactly. she? That was smart. Just a little right of center. Because they're they, all just popping left. So if they, you jump a little right yeah. of center, you've got a chance if and they make a little green mistake. These horses are, you know, at, at this level now, they're they're used to the brush. Then you can run, run them into the brush a little bit yep. just to give you a, a little bit more on the left side there. Okay, and Allie's so. horse looks to be cruising. He'll yes. go up to the, the rail. Very friendly shape here, nicely. Ooh, four nice there. Four. Nice and forward, though. And a good balance, you know. That's yeah, so, really nice. There's nothing wrong with that. That's awesome. And now we've got Leslie Grant Law and Lady Chatterley. Fleur, as she calls her. This Fleur? A, Fleur, yeah. <laughs> this is an eight year old 16 2 Holstein it. mare owned by Steve and Jackie Brown, who I know are here watching her. They're great horse jump around. And this mare, another one that did yeah. the, the Jockey Club yep. three-star long last year mm -hmm. and had a great finish, a little bit of time cross country. So she'll look to go fast and maybe yep. show that the Pan Am game should be something that they get selected for. Exactly. And Leslie rides for Canada. Her right, husband exactly. rides for Great Britain. Yep. Leslie and Leslie. That gets a little confusing sometimes. Nicely done there. And what a jumper this mare. She nice really, turn. You yeah. know, we've seen a couple riders get a little bit long and pull on that inside rein, and she just sat back yep. and brought those shoulders around and said, this is what we're doing next. Good and ride from Leslie. The good. mare looking a little green there, but Leslie was already committed. Yep. She was traveling, had the leg on, exactly. ready for it to go a little wrong, and it did. And, and she was right there. 
That's Merrick just stuttered on takeoff, but Leslie said, come on, yeah. let's go. This is a big striding horse, she so another yeah. one that could really get that time. And she looks to be quite efficient to set up. Good shot there from Leslie. Really quick yep. to it and quick away. This is the first time they really get a chance to put their hands down after that yeah. seminal jump and let them have a long gallop, which is good. Nicely positive up there. You just hit the bottom of that hill and keep your leg on and Easy peasy. Great <laughs> shot there, yeah. And she, she made a move up to that first yep. crush, Kathy, but yep. she got close. She didn't make a move right, in open to the distance. Lawn. Right. So yep. that made yeah. the five really nice. All right, so here she comes to. All right, Les, hug that right side. Put that left leg, open the right, oh, yeah, yeah, perfect. You could Easy. see there, she was the just a little The horses are just seeing that late, you yeah. know, and if the riders aren't just right there to say, yes, you can, and there's an open door. And you gotta think that Jay would have taken into account, so they go down the slope, and then they have just that little plateau right. of flat ground, so you gotta think exactly. that he thought about where their oh, feet were totally gonna be. Did. Yep. And you've gotta be right there supporting him to get yep. that right. Yep. Now Jenny and Kalisha. Kalicia. She's looking full of running, isn't yeah, she? Yeah, she's a feisty mare. This is a really fun oh, horse to come watch. Back, camera. There you go. Oh, nice. Good four. Just skimmed yeah. that brush. Really nice. Just added one yeah, there. Yeah, just like But Jenny, stay again, here. stayed behind, yeah. supported with the reins. Exactly. Okay, so now we have Sinead. Cuddy Sark. This horse looks very strong to me. Yeah, no, he, he looks he strong looks in like the dressage. A, looks like a, a real beast of a horse. I think Sinead does a good job on yeah. it. Yeah. You know, it looks like some horses get a bit strong in chicken. Yeah. This one looks like he just loves what he's doing. Yeah, doesn't he does. He, he doesn't just, look afraid at all. He no, just looks he's like not he's afraid. He's enjoying it. And he's got one of those necks that just comes really vertical out of yeah. the shoulder. Yep. So sometimes you go to take a feel and the neck and shortens and the stride just keeps running away yeah, from you. Exactly. So that can be hard as a rider to see where you want to put them. Yeah. But Sinead's got a lot of experience. She She's does. jumped some of the biggest tracks in the world. She has, so yep. This Ocala three star long should be well within her wheelhouse to pop around. Ooh, good ride there. Nicely done. And then landed and just said, get down there. Get on he there. just paused in. Yeah, he did. She was really good to react. He's like, He's come flying, on. isn't he? <laughs> He's like, where's the next jump, Sinead? Come on, bring it. And I would bet you this horse with a good go today would maybe look to do that upgrade to advance this fall because he's done a few yeah. now. Yep. I know when, when Sinead um, had her baby last year, Leslie Law took this horse around Jersey Fresh to right. do its first long three star yeah. um, and did a beautiful job. And so now Sinead's getting the kind of the last one maybe under his belt. And sure. Then, and, then and then we'll look to upgrade to have another nice advanced horse. This is a good shot from this side now on this one. Yeah, she's like having to just job there. say, you got to stay right here, buddy. Yep. Don't get too cheeky with me. Yeah. I know I've walked it. You haven't. <laughs> That's right. You can see from that angle, Kathy, that, that yep. you have a little bit of a blind ride up to that exactly. horseshoe. Yep. And they have to land and go, oh, okay, got to hold my line to the corner. Yeah. Again, the riders know that. The horses don't. So the riders get to inspect the courses, but the horses have, this is the first time they're seeing all this. That Good was a beautiful. That was probably one of the best we've seen. That was really that. nice. Yep. Didn't waste any time. Nope. Just caught it out of stride. Yeah. It's good. All right. So I'm going to take a little bit of a break and hand the mic over to Zach, who is waiting patiently for me. <laughs> so we'll check in with you guys later. All right. Zachary, what's going on? <laughs> So Zach, you'll have to talk us through this a little bit. I know you're Alrighty. doing the, the national version of this horse, the intermediate with your yeah, nice yeah. young horse. So are yeah. there a lot of differences? Yeah, there are a few. You know, the waters are a little bit different. The, yeah. um, you know, there are a couple of the combinations 
a couple of the combinations are, are slightly different. Uh, like you can see here, they have that skinny in the water, whereas the intermediate just has a table in the water. Gotcha. Um, you know, but Jay's, Jay's done a great job to make both both courses, you know, quite quite difficult, but quite fair, I Absolutely. think. Absolutely. Now we've got Jess Phoenix on Dr. Sheldon Cooper, 15-year-old chestnut, 16-1 thoroughbred. I think she's got, what, she's got four horses in this division? Yeah, she's going to be busy. I was going to say, I feel like we were just talking about her trailblazing, which uh, seems about right. It How is she on ago. the first horse? She looked great. It was a big eight-year-old, looked to be a youngish horse, and it just smoked around from what we saw. We couldn't see the, the latter half of the course, but everything we saw looked really positive. This horse looks like it covers the ground really well. And another one I bet would be kind of thinking about trying to do the Pan Am games with. Looks like Jess has backed down some of these horses. I know she had them going at like four star short level, and now she's come back down to give them a good three star long run. Hoping well, to, nice have to have a couple that horses little in contention. A little bit more, you know, horses in contention for the Pan Ams that might have a little bit more experience that yeah. have competed at the advanced or four star level that now can come down and, and be quite competitive at three star level. Right. And this another one. Big, strong galloping horse. You can tell this horse just carries its balance so well as yeah, it gallops. Yeah, really well. You know, like it, it can be, you'd imagine this horse would probably be quite quick. Yeah. And again, we haven't heard how the time's riding just yet. I would imagine, you know, as per usual, the time is quite easy to get because it's flat ground. It's only 8 minutes 12. But on the other side of that, you know, if it's a little shorter, that can be a little bit more challenging to get up to pace and yep. really smoke around if yep. you don't have those big long gallops. Well, and also I feel like, uh, you know, especially at a place like this where it is quite flat and you can end up going quite quick on your horse, it's important too. You know, you don't want to end up 20, 30 seconds under the time, right. even though you might be able to, because you want to make sure you still have a horse for Sunday. Absolutely. For Sunday, for the jog in the morning and for show jumping. That was beautiful Good ride there. there from Jess. And she'd have that little bit of knowledge earlier from riding that other horse around that that brush can be just a little more than it appears to be. And Sinead, this horse looks great now. He's just settling in. He looks like he can just take a little bit longer rain and really cruise along. And I Sinead's know. Sinead's not having to rebalance all the time. I, I saw Sinead walking around this morning. She looked, she looked like she was a little bit nervous. She said this horse is really, really feeling it right now. And yeah. That is peak fitness level and but she's doing a really good job of managing it two three four five one two three four five six seven eight nine well done there and Sinead even though the horse is going come on let's go she's going no no, no come on you need to pay attention you need to see what's going on now we've got Lindsay Tresnell aboard uh, Baca Rouge an eight-year-old self francais 16 two hands Lindsay riding for Canada out of Ontario. This horse just seems to be fighting her a little yeah, bit early. A little bit keen. Sometimes I feel like in the longer, fo you know, the, the three days and CCIs it helps with horses like this. They kind of helps get them settled a little bit. Yeah, it helps them kind of burn it off and get in a nice rhythm to be able to actually make the time. And running almost like a, a hair early, it looks like, Zach. She was supposed to go out now 9.42, and she's already cruising around. So no no huge issues on today's course so far. No falls. Not to bring that up as she's about to jump That's into the water. <laughs> but no problem. Really good yeah, jump good there. Good rod. And I like that jump. I think it... You have to jump that on the intermediate as yeah, well. So yeah, yeah. It's, I it's think that gets them up into the air, actually, whereas if you just have a little log, sometimes they just crawl in. Yeah. And I don't think that gets them confident at all. I think it makes them question kind of what you're asking them to do. So yeah, I think yeah it's nice that you can, you can you you know, you can ride them up to it, and they sort of, yeah, they just jump up and around it a little bit. Good jump there. Now he's starting to settle into a rhythm. And it's amazing, too, how much they use the ground here and really use every inch of, of the property yeah. that we have. You can see them running all the way. You, know, you can see how, how they run really all, all over all over the ground here. In the years past, you know, the, the tracks almost looked a little bit redundant to how they were the year before. But now I think Jay and, and the builders, Mark McCleary, Tom ne Tommy Neneman, and a bunch of others that 
that I'm forgetting. Um, they've done so much work here. You know, yeah. The jumps are beautifully made. They're beautifully decorated. And there's another person responsible for, you know, making the jumps look really presentable. But you can see these guys have been working and watering the footing, aerating. They've done everything they can to give us a good event. And we're really lucky to, to be able to have that, aren't we? Well, and it's hard here this time of year. We don't get much rain, you know. And it, you can tell, you can see on the live stream here that the grass is really green. You yep. know, the horses, horses seem to be covering the ground quite well. And... And if you go out there walking, you can see the aerating, you know, the yeah. tracks where they've aerated and they've they've obviously put so much time and effort in, into it. And we're really, really lucky to have have such a quality event just just in our backyard here that runs these FEI divisions in the spring, too. Yeah, that's a big one. Now she went six there, it looked like. Yeah. And you can see this horse has got, got that sheepskin over its nose, which is that shadow roll it helps sort of with horses that get their head a little bit high and fight in the bridle a little bit just so they can you know keep their eye on what's ahead of them and not not get their head too high up in the air so that they're not paying attention to what's 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 coming now we've got lauren keeper on landmarks mochaccino owned by jacqueline mars this is an eight-year-old warm blood thoroughbred cross 16 hands uh, and again i think this is this horse's first three-star long she's been producing this horse for a number of years a little different looking than some of the other horses but i always marvel sure jump. marvel at the fact that lauren looks the same on every horse she rides yeah no, she and they all job. go they all go very similarly and i'm sure i'm sure that they don't feel all the same but she's she she's really such such an amazing so good at producing such such good horses Let's see she's coming in here a little quiet give this a good ride up to it Ooh, Ooh. just stuck off the ground there yeah. a little bit it's like almost just a little bit yeah I gave too long there. and strung out almost yeah i would have just been traveling a little more there been expecting him to to give her that little pause you know it worked well he was a good honest horse but you could see he was just green just yeah. surprised and yeah well and with those young horses coming off of you know that's your first combination you right. your first you know the first four gallop fences and then to come to that you know, it's it's nice that you can ride up to it, but they, they may take a little peek there. Yep. He's awake now. She says, oh, come <laughs> on, Mochaccino. Get it together. It takes two. <laughs> and this little this little horse has a pretty good step on him, doesn't he? Yeah, it he does. He covers the ground really well. quite well. Yeah. You know, and he's in good balance, but he, he doesn't go up and down too much. He travels across the ground. You know, it'd be interesting to see how, how she is on the time because she doesn't look very quick, but no, I feel like sometimes they can, the ones that they look. They can be deceiving. Yeah. Bit. And that you know. one, like, she, I thought she jumped quiet into the horseshoe there, and the five was actually still short. Yeah. So, interesting. You know, the horses that are more rotted, what at least what seem to be more rideable like this one, um, you know, they they tend to be a little bit faster cross country because you don't have to fight them the whole way around That's you right. can you can you don't waste as much time setting up that was a good ride yeah really good you can see she just was a little bit more awake there than she was at the water like she she just said okay maybe i'll just pay a little more attention now we've got Lindsay at the end of the course and this horse looks like he's still galloping really well couple of them it was interesting zach coming to that second water looked to be more tired than yeah you would a little think, weary you know for yeah. being on flat ground but again the heat can p play a big role in that i know last year my horse here who you know was a big kind of galloping horse ended up being real hot yeah. coming home and it yeah. wasn't that long so I was well especially in this humidity what we've got today it's it's you know luckily the the three star gets to go early in the morning yep. first thing but yeah it's it definitely takes quite a bit out of out of the horses, you'd, you'd hope for a horse with a little more blood today. Now we've got a rider riding from, riding from Mexico. We've got Fernando Paraquin Delfin riding Romana, a 12-year-old warm blood, 16 three hands, riding from Sedina, Mexico. And it's an exciting field this year. We've got some, I don't think we have any, actually we do. We've got Neil Samura da Silva riding for Brazil. We've got some Mexican riders, some Canadians. It's a really diverse field. And the Mexicans have been have been based here for a few months now, haven't they? That's they've, right. They've Karen, I know Karen O'Connor is their team coach, and she's done a pretty good job with them. Great job. And what a jumping horse this is. Holy yeah. cow. <laughs> he just found That's that right out of stride, yeah. didn't he? We'll see. He looks like he's coming a little bit long to this. Oh, that was no a good problem. ride. Yeah. 
Easy. Obviously, you can tell he knows this horse quite yeah. well. This horse is, looks to be quite bold and, and also a bit careful at the same time, but he can sort of just keep coming down just to the fences. Cruising. Yeah. And I would I would bet you anything this would be another contender for the Pan American Games. Yeah. This year it's held in Lima, Peru. So This horse I'm, got such a beautiful gallop. Yeah, it really. I've, I haven't seen a lot of these Mexican team horses, but I'm told that they're really nice. So it's fun to see him here today. Good jump there. Yeah, this is a lovely horse. You can see that it's got that big active hind leg, but it does cover the ground. It doesn't just go up and down. Yeah. It actually progresses as it goes up and down. And these South American countries are really starting to get into the eventing and, and be really competitive at it, aren't they? There's some really good Brazilians, really good Mexican riders. They're coming right. from all all countries, and they oh, seem it's to great be really to have that diversification in the field too, and be able to you know uh, to have more countries involved at the Pan American Games, and definitely, and which is what it's geared to do, isn't it? It's yeah, a, it's a progressive games to try to push more countries kind of up into the sport. Yeah, so obviously it's working because we're seeing some of them here. Up and in I know the the, the the Pan Ams used to be well now. Oh, it's a good save. All right. Um, used to be at four star level, old three star level, and yep. now they've since I believe it was in what was it in two thousand eleven that that they changed it to a um, yep a three star long, um, and and yeah, it's it it's it allow you know it l allows for a, a more nations to to send riders um, that wouldn't otherwise be able to be qualified to for for a for a long four star right as opposed to a long three star. But um seems to be going well so far up yeah. here today. The course is riding well. <laughs> Another great course by Jay Hamley. We've got Lauren coming to the water here. A little hairy in. Come on, Mocha. Yeah, you can see this one just shows its greenness yeah. a little bit. Lauren does a good job to just try and keep it on the line, keep it between her hand and her leg. That was beautiful out. Yeah, it just made time for him there, didn't she? Instead of chasing him, she just said, come on. Now we've got Kyle Carter riding for Canada. The big guy. Yeah, the big guy. <laughs> One of the one of the older riders in the field. <laughs> Kyle just turned 50 this year, but along with that that age comes a lot of experience. He's been at this a long time. He's ridden the Olympics, the 2010 World Games in Kentucky, silver medalist, team silver medalist. And he on his still looks horse. like a spring chicken. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> he looks all right. <laughs> and this is a really exciting young mare for him. She's. I know he's got her kind of in mind for the Pan Ams, so he's trying to get the qualifier done here. Oh, that was a good yeah, ride. Doing the signature elbow flap there <laughs> into the water and just adding one. Come on, Kyle. I mean, you can see lands off that horse. He's already up in his galloping position, and, and you know, that'll make, you know, you can see his experience in that to get the horse up and away from the jump as yep. fast as possible. Even though he added that stride there, he landed up off her back and was already ready to say, come on, let's go. Making the turn here. Yeah, Good that's a lovely there. young mare. Which I believe it's Tricaner bred, isn't it? I think you're right. 10 years old, 16-2, Tricaner bred mare, run by the late Christy Edwards, who was a, a really great supporter. I, I know she, she passed away last year, but this horse really serves as her, her memory and kind of keeps her in the sport and keeps us thinking about what a, a great person she was. Oh, that was beautiful that ride. That was a good ride from Kyle. That was, so I the think, the just best I've seen so far. Into the into the horseshoe there, and Kyle landed and said, come on, get down there. Yeah. Did a good job there. You know, and I think especially, you know, they've had the one combination so far, but mostly they've had long gallop fences. And, and you know, when they get to that, I think, um, so I know it, I think it walks just a normal five, but by that point, the horses have already started to, whoop, started to get a little bit long and strung out. Yeah. They're all getting there a little bit close in the five, but Kyle, Kyle, Kyle knows this horse and knows that, it, you know, smart it backs itself off a little bit and he was able to just keep rolling down there. There we've got our rider from Mexico. Again, that's Fernando Paraquin Delfin. And this horse looks to just be cruising around. It doesn't look tired. It just looks like it has a nice steady rhythm. It looks yeah. like he's traveling at exactly the right speed for what he's looking to get out of today. 
soon as he comes up to the second water here. Just adds one there. Good rod. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, this is such a nice horse. Really good ride. Well, and is that what you find, you know, at these longer, you know, CCIs? It's really important to get into a rhythm early on, and that, that'll keep the horses almost on some level from getting tired. Yeah, it'll keep come them forward, fresh. Back, forward, back, forward, back. Yep. Now we've got the class leader here. We've got Liz Halliday Sharp on Flash Cooley, this nice seven-year-old horse owned by Prue Dawes Roland. Yeah, and this, I believe this horse just moved up to intermediate this spring, didn't it? So I think so, and it, it a is bit green, greener. but it is a, a beast of a horse, and a little smaller than what Liz usually rides, yeah. so there must be something special about it, and you can see as it goes, it really jumps, it really gallops, and obviously it does good flat work because it's winning on the 23. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've seen her on three gray horses just in this division yeah. alone. And Liz, another one, gunning for that, that first team appearance. I know she's jumped some Nations Cups for the U.S., but I bet she'd love to get that red jacket in Lima, Peru with either this horse or Cooley Quicksilver would be another one that is up to the up to the plate for that. Liz is a formula, former race car driver, so going fast is no big thing for her. Smoking over that table. Yeah, and you can tell this horse while he's green, he's just so, you know, he's up for the job. He's quite bold and brave, and he looks like he, you know, he, he knows knows what's going on here. Yeah, he looks like he's got plenty of kind of scope for this, doesn't he? Yeah, let's see how she handles this. this is, I feel like this is a bit of a tougher question for a greener horse. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, not for him. And he really, you can see, he, he got really close there, but he jumped amazing. So that's what you want to see. They, You want them to hold their jump, whether they're long, far, whatever, or even if they get way up underneath it, you want them to just explode underneath you and, and look after you a little bit, especially when they get tired later on at the course. Now she's got that angled brush here. Oh wow, yeah, that was beautiful. You could see she didn't she even. Ready for that. Yeah, she she was she gave a little bit balance, a little bit of balance there at the top of that mound, but she was still able to keep coming, and that you know that's what's going to make potentially make this horse a bit faster than some of the others we've seen. Yep. And there we've got Kyle galloping along on ready or not. This mare still looks full of run. Yeah, she looks good. We got Kyle coming to the second water here. Two, three, four, five. Okay, good ride. He kept his elbows low three, on that four, one. Yeah, that was weird. I almost don't recognize it. <laughs> good ride there for <laughs> Kyle. I, I got to think this is probably Kyle's top shot at doing the yeah. PMs this year. She really looks like she's ready for that. Now we've got John Holling on Dell and Toretto. Another superstar mare jumping over two. I know this mare did its first three-star long club in the fall, and so she's a little bit more experienced than some of the other horses we've seen, but still, still a young, young green mare. And this is another one, Zach. That it's it's a big, beautiful striding mare. But when you watch her, she doesn't look like she's no, traveling terribly she fast, doesn't. and she jumps so pretty. Oh my God! Look at her jump over that. A little bit steady, but then she almost always gets the time like she really is efficient and rideable which is the key to these horses oh, that was beautiful Easy. riding Two, three, see if he goes four, four. no five. he's going five yeah, short five you know and you can see she she jumped in a bit big but she still lands so soft and so rideable and that's a testament to john's training and and you know training his horses to be so broke to know know the job know and you know, be responsive to the aids quickly in combinations. You can see he's quick to get it, get get over that and get away from it. This horse owned by Team Holling LLC, which is a, a group of John's supporters. I know Mike French is one of those. He's out there chasing his horse around, watching him go. Good supporter of John's. I know he usually likes to photo bomb some of John's videos. Yeah, I think I think I might have seen him earlier. I think that might have been Whoa. going on for us. Ooh, good recovery. Good you recovery. can see even on a longer rain, this mare just holds her line. 
and she got her eyes on the flags even yeah. though she, she was a little bit green there left the ground a little bit early she's quite 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 honest to the corner there and john did a good job of just keeping her really on the line flying around today this is the quickest i've seen her go so she's clearly growing up and, and starting to really love this Good rod from John there, just expecting that same move, right? And she sat up. He sat up, just lengthened his reins. And Keeps said, Come her on, the get line. down there, girl. Yeah, that was a really good rod from John. Because I think where people are going wrong are just thinking, oh, it's just a brush fence. You know, it's no big deal. And yeah. then they get there on a little bit of an empty step, and boom, just it's too easy to jump out to the left. Well, and funny enough, on the intermediate, the only thing that's different there is we actually have a roll top on the other side of the mound, and then we go over the mound and go to the brush on the backside and at first glance you'd think that that would be more difficult but the jump before the mound actually sets, sets you, you up, up better right. for the brush good five there to the skinny in the water and this horse is just smoking around a little close there but again just jumps right He's up quick with his, legs. with his ears forward and says come on let's go now let's see who's this this is i think melissa Boutin on ewsc jalando 10-year-old Rhineland Falls are, looks like, I think it's a, a mare if I remember right, but I could be wrong. She's riding for Canada. Great jump there for Melissa. It's a horse that would be bred by the Frey brothers up in Canada. They have a place down here in Florida. They sell a lot of a lot of nice horses in the hunter jumper world and some of enters. This horse looks very efficient with its jump. Yeah, it looks you know, like it, a, a it's good a good jumper, horse. but it's it's not it's not over jumping anything. It's jumping just as much as it needs to. Really good jump there into the water. Or she goes the six there. You know, it's nice that you know, like that's that's what's so great about Jay's courses, though, is that they're fair to the horses. If the horse jumps in a little bit steep and gets there a little bit, you know, a little bit underpowered, yep. then they can easily enough bow out in the six, and right. you have a good jump in the five is right there. But it's it doesn't punish the horses. And the shape of that roll top is quite friendly. You could really yeah. make a big mess of it and still get around okay. Good shot there. It's a good educational track for the younger horses and and riders. She comes to the to the keyhole fence here. I'm so used to that being an actual keyhole, but it, it's just just the bottom half is there. I think now. it at some point <laughs> blew over to be honest. And oh thank broke. god. Yeah, I hated, I hated that jumping jump. that too. Yeah. yeah. It always got somebody, didn't it? Yeah, it's better better off the way it is now. Yep. She looks like she's just cruising around, so just switching her whip to the left side there so that she can just guide this horse through that left-hand flag, which is where the horses have been going. And and they've been all right now, so I think the word's kind of gotten back that everybody needs to wake up at that brush. Give that a little more early on, respect. Yeah. Like early on, if the horses had gotten down there like that, the riders were just a bit soft, and they just popped out the left shoulder yeah. and drifted. Looks like John's coming to the second water here. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, short five there. It's funny they all they all do seem like they're getting just a little bit weary at this by the time they get to this water, yeah, don't they? Yeah, Jess earlier did it on four. Yeah. And I think if you land thinking, okay, I'm getting four, yeah, I think four you can do there. it. But I yeah. think everybody's kind of assuming that the five is the way to go. Yeah. Now we've got Jess Phoenix on Bentley's best. Well, and it probably would. The five probably is is would be a better choice but uh, you know at that point in the course when the horses are on a longer step right. if you know you've got a horse that isn't quite as green that'll hold its line and right. will just come down there in the four you're probably better off in the four this is a horse with a lot of experience i know he's competed at four star long before jess again just kind of backing him down getting him ready for maybe some pan am contention I know he won the CCI three-star short at Red Hills. He jumped a really nice round. And sometimes with these horses that have done a lot, 
you know, backing down a grade and, and making them really competitive across the board is a good idea, you know, and you can see how well he jumps in the water there. Yeah, you can tell he's quite seasoned. He knows his job. Beautiful shot there. This horse has a big, big gallop. He's got a huge step. He's not so tall, but he does travel the ground over across the ground really well. Tricaner bred. She just looks like she's going for a walk in the park. Yeah, I mean, this looks horse easy, is just, it? yeah, it looks very rideable. I bet she'd be quick as well on the time. Oh, yeah, and he's another one that eats up that distance. Yeah. It doesn't look quick. Interesting to see how a slightly more seasoned horse handles this. See, yeah. she doesn't even come back there. She just kept coming. Jump there. Just a little bit of rebalancing and just keeps on coming. You know, and at this level, you, you really, you can only go so fast between the fences. You make your yeah. time by being efficient at the jumps, efficient with your lines. And, and you know, the more the more rideable your horse is, the more, more likely you're able to crack on and, and go for the time a little more. Right. You know, and the, it's all about how many steps you take to get around that course. If you're taking 10 steps to set up for every jump, yeah, you know, that's at least 10 seconds. So the less you can do in keeping it efficient, the better you, the better off you're going to be the day of and the next day. Yeah, you know, they got to jog up and, and look 100% to be able to continue. So it's that horsemanship side of it. Well, it looks like she's going six. And that's a little bit knowing your horse too, isn't it? If they jump a little bit shallow into that type of stuff and you can sit up and support the balance, then you'll be in better shape. So now yeah. we've got Buck Davidson on Electric Lux. And by the Electric Lux LLC, this is Natalia Neneman's little mare. And I know Natalia's out with a broken foot, so her coach has stepped up to give this horse a good crack around its first three star long. I know she's feeling feeling like the ultimate spectator this weekend. I bet. Which is, I know, personally, I know is not a great feeling. Yeah. <laughs> got some experience do you but but who who better to take this horse around at its first three star long than buck and this horse was brought along in england by jp sheffield bought by natalia uh maybe not last year but the year before yeah i think she's had this horse since since 17 um, or yeah so. i think that's right great jump into the water there and it looks like it's just got springs in its hind legs it's yeah. a really good jumper Buck probably running here, and then I, I bet he'd start gearing up for Kentucky. I think he's got about three horses entered for that. So this should be no, no a little practice round. Too tough, yeah. <laughs> Just get his eye in, jump a few three-star fences. And Buck yeah. another one at just getting in that rhythm and just staying right there. You know, and it's so important those gallop fences are there to help you. The gallop fences are there to help help you get back into a rhythm and, and get the horse's confidence up. You know, if you have a funny jump through a combination, if, you know, any time, especially around a longer course like a like a three-day event like this. Oh, did he just go four there? No, he went five. Oh, it just looked like he, he just, was he just on a bit of an open he step. He popped out a little bit to the right, yeah. and then he just had to make his way back to the corner. Right. You know, and Buck, Buck does so, such a good job of keeping this horse in a rhythm especially it being a, a touch green. Yeah, this one's just, uh, she's a nine-year-old, but I know it's her first time at this level. She did the two-star long at the Jockey Club last year and had a good finish, and now stepping up to the next level this spring. And you can see Buck just open his right rein there a little bit just to sort of guide her through there. And this one's still just cruising along, Bentley's best on and Jesse Phoenix. Into that last water. One, two, three, four, five. Nice five. 
Ooh, a little fight. Yeah, a little, maybe yeah, just a little took one too many tugs there. What do you think, Zach? Yeah, just yeah. It looked like you this know you'd late like in the to. Course, they can't compress as as much as they would early on. You know, and especially especially when you've got got to jump a, a skinny coming up on top of a mound, you got to ride them forward up that mound. And when you look at the the actual measurements of that jump, it's really not that tall. You know, it is yeah. skinny, but the brush makes up most of it. It's about the top third. So you kind of can just kind of dare them up to skim right over them if you know your horse well enough. Yeah, and here we've here we've got Holly Jacks riding this young horse, Candy King, uh, that she got a few years back, I know, um, from England. And, and she's done a, done a great job with this horse so far. I know he did his first three star long at Fair Hill last year um, off of only having done actually a couple intermediates it was quite green and it, it went around really well and you now she'll be looking to get a little bit more experience under its belt this weekend and I know she's she's got this this ear bonnet on today that she's wearing to um, in on in honor of her her best friend Amanda who's been struggling with cancer and, and you know Holly I know Holly's been there for her quite a bit and wants to wants to be supportive so she's got this ear bonnet on in honor of that and this horse looks like it's loving it really good balance nice uphill gallop warm blood horse but looks like it's got enough blood to, to make this part of the yeah, job it goes easy. almost like a thoroughbred doesn't it yeah it does good shot nice there really good ride yeah yeah, and it'd be interesting to see, you know, it seems like this horse is a touch strong, so Holly's got it on somewhat of a shorter rein here to start the course. So it'd be interesting to see if, if he relaxes as the course goes along and if she can sort of end up being on a touch longer rein as, as, as he goes around. I'm just working to get him back here. She's got to ride him forward up this mound. Yeah, good ride. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, beautiful. That's well done. That's been riding really well, hasn't yeah. it? Seems like they all just really pick up on that corner. Yeah. They all pick up on the flags as they come down the hill there. You can see she's just balancing this horse a little bit before the brush. Keeping her line. Yeah, good ride. Good ride there. Buck, Buck again with Natalia's electric lux. So he's turning for the second water. What do you think, five or six here? Ooh, I'm gonna say five. Yeah, I, I bet you're right. Good strong ride. I thought maybe for a moment he might go yeah, six. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just jumped a bit shallow with the first one, didn't it? Yeah. Really good there, but this one looks like it's got plenty of gas. Yeah. Some of them are just kind of skimming through that brush and then landing a bit dead. Yep. Not that one. Now we've got Lila Gendel on BT Just a Rebel. Nice Irish horse. And this one looks like it needs to go. Really keen little horse, this one. This one's a, a Connemara thoroughbred, nine years old, 15'3", so one of the smaller horses, but it looks That's like a, a real galloper. beast of a horse. Yeah, she owns this horse. Vermont comes down here for the winter. I think she's based with Justine Dutton over in Reddick, Florida, not too far from where I live. I get right in. Yeah, really nice there. Just let him use his neck. Beautiful. Oof. What a. It's quick with its rocket. feet, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It was funny. She actually kind of softened the rein and rode him up to that, but the horse saw where he was going and just held himself off yeah. it really well. Yeah. That was really well done. You'd expect one like this to probably be a bit quick as well. Yeah. He just wastes no time. He's quick in the turns, gets right up to the jumps. Good rod. Yeah, really good. <laughs> Got a little bit of a cheering section <laughs> back there for Lila. You love a 
love a good horse with some thoroughbred in it. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. She's smoking. <laughs> and it looks like she really jumped the point there. Like, th this looks like a real monster of a yeah. cross country horse. Yeah, yeah. Just a Good ride. You'd yeah, think really with a horse good. like this, it's just so compact that it, you know, it would be. At the more technical accuracy type questions, that you know, that's that's the kind of horse you want. I would find that very easy. Here's Holly. She's come coming away from that ditch and wall, ditch and brush. She's coming, turn into the water. This horse still looks like it's full of full of running energy. Yeah, it doesn't look tired such at all. Fit. Yeah, he can see him just shaking his head there. He's saying, come on, Mom. Soften the reins. Let me at it. Let me do it. She's saying, Let's nope. Do We're going five. Smokes through that brush. Yeah, good rod. Yeah, she's doing her best to sort of control this horse while not sort of shutting down its enthusiasm. And now we've got John Michael Durr, California native on Flag Mount's Nightcap, owned by the Prestige Worldwide Syndicate. I love saying. I find that very funny. <laughs> <laughs> this horse was bred by Bruce Davidson. It's a 12-year-old, 13-year-old rather. So plenty of thoroughbred in there, no doubt. I know Kelly Prather rode this horse um, up through this level, I believe. And it's got plenty of experience, and and um, I know John Michael has just taken over the ride on it this year. And he's done a great job with it so far. You can tell his horse. <laughs> <laughs> he's James doing a good job of, of doing his best to just keep it under wraps. Yeah, but you can tell his horse loves its job. Didn't want to be managed there. James see said, it's got ears on pricked, now. ready to go. Got a great gallop. What a classy looking horse. Yeah, yeah. That's all right, James. No stranger to riding the strong cross country horse. Bet you anything that JM with run and running this event, like uh, I know he hasn't run this horse a ton this year. I bet you anything he's trying to get a qualification to move up to that next level because yeah. the horse has done a lot with Kelly. So he's trying to get to know it this winter, get the three star long under his belt with him on him, and then maybe look to do some advanced the rest. Ooh, Ooh, JM. This horse just looks like wow, he, look at that. That was, that was a good cleanup job. Oh man, <laughs> it looked like he, I, I don't know if he put him a little too close or if the horse just hung a leg for whatever reason but jm did a good job there because i thought he was way off his line and he just said easy 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 come on yeah it was a very it good very good cleanup job there and he didn't move he just stayed right behind him the whole time giving him good guidance good experience yeah, well now done. jm's like yep i'm not gonna let that happen again you can see he just stays a little bit behind yeah. him there aren't too many people that could have gotten that done that was good riding all right, it is time that I sign off. All right, Zach, well, to thanks go for joining us. Have do a, a little bit of coaching and go ride my horse around the intermediate good shortly. Good luck to you. We'll be watching. Thanks, buddy. All right, now here goes Lila into the second water. Whew, smoke into that skinny. And she's got to be one of the fastest ones through there. She galloped away from the one in the water looking like she was actually done and then just put the skinny in front of it. And now we've got Leslie Law on LCC Vogue, who's another eight-year-old Irish sport horse owned by Beatrice Raham. And this is another one that contested the Jockey Club last year. And he's looking to get this one another three-star long under his belt. So this is where, coming up shortly here, is where Leslie had trouble on his first horse, the beautiful gray first class. So we'll see if this one's got just a little more experience, maybe can just pop into that water a little more boldly than the last one. Good jump at number four. Oh, that
that a boy, Leslie. Getting nice and defensive there, just ready to react. And it worked out really well for him. The horse just peaked at the last minute. That water's just catching some of these younger horses off guard. And, and with Leslie's experience from his first horse and just in general, he was ready to just push him across that. Here he comes up to the Seminole wagon. Beautifully over that. And we're starting to wind up here in the three-star long class. We've only got maybe five left, it looks like. Leslie having a, the second round of his day in this class. Good ride there. Really good ride to the angle brush there for Leslie, giving this horse plenty of confidence still, just being a little bit on guard from that first horse. I think that water just surprised both of them a little bit. First class is usually a pretty solid cross country horse and just had a bit of an off day today. And there we see JM, John Michael Durr with Flag Mount's nightcap, just cruising along at the end of the course. And it doesn't look like he's going you know, flat out necessarily, but a big, strong horse with a big open step. This ho horse could very well be on the time. Good jump there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Short nine. So maybe just getting a hair tired at the end of the course. Now we've got Kylie Lyman on Zanadu over the second jump, the little log on the box. Another one running in that shadow roller, the sheepskin on the nose. Kylie's got a couple nice young horses she's bringing along. This is this one's first level, go at this level at the three star long format. Owned by her great owner, Joan Nichols and Jeffrey, who I know are driving around watching her today based in Reddick, Florida and, and Vermont for the rest of the year. Good, ooh, good st stutter step there for the horse, but Kylie just sat behind and said, come on, get in there. A little tap on the shoulder over the top of that. Got the first real question up over the horseshoe. Five to the corner. Really good jumping horse. And this one, although it's greener, it looks to be really enjoying it. It's pricking his ears. It's kind of looking for the flags. And you can see Kylie believes in him. She's riding him nice and confident, nice and forward. Not getting too defensive on him early on. Giving him a chance to be a good boy. And you can see she's got that that stud belly girth on for this horse. You can see when he jumps, he really uses his shoulders well and snaps his shoes right up underneath his belly. And a lot of times in these upper levels of eventing, we'll put studs in the horses to add their to their traction. And if they, you have a really careful jumping horse, they can just sting themselves on the belly. So some of us just like going in that stud girth cross country to give them a little bit of extra protection. Now we've got Leslie coming to the last water on Vogue, LCC Vogue. Good ride there. Three, four, five to the brush. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, which is about what we've been seeing. There's been the odd one that's gotten eight, but you really have to commit to it, especially that late in the course. You got to really ride forward early so they get up to the base. Now we've got Lindsay Lanier on Fernhill Feel Happy, who she owns herself, a nine year old 16 3 Irish sport horse. Second go for Lindsay. We weren't able to see the latter half of the course with her first horse, but it looked quite good in the early going. Smoking over that table at number three. Little ad step there at number four, just trying to still get him up into that rhythm, get him up to the bridle so he's just towing her along a little bit. Oof, big jump there. Well sat by Lindsay. Really bold. This horse looks like he's really enjoying himself out there today. There she comes across the road, coming up to behind the media tent, up to the Seminole wagon. One, two, three, four. Ooh, four there. Really well done by Lindsay. I believe that's the first one we've seen go on four. She just committed to the first one, hit it traveling, then landed into the distance. And the four actually worked out better than the five would have. The five would have been holding and would have just maybe lost some of his confidence that he clearly seems to have in the early going. He's just flying around this course. Ooh, Harry there, but good ride for Lindsay. Really good. Again, just a little surprised by that. And this late in the going, everybody should have a pretty good idea of what's riding well, what's not riding well. And that brush was certainly, to me, one of the things that I was surprised by when I watched the early going. It just caught the horses off guard. And when you walk up to it, it seems just kind of plain. But that little bit of undulation is just catching some of these horses in the late going. Now we've got Kylie Lyman here coming to the second water. And this little horse looks to just be smoking around. Nice positive ride there. Good ride to the skinny. Looks like he's got plenty of gas. Still galloping really well. And now we've got the second place Contestant at the moment, Liz Halliday on Cooley Quicksilver, eight-year-old Irish sport horse by Womanizer, owned by the Monster Partnership. And I don't have the results yet in for the time and the placings after the early going of the cross country, but I would bet you anything that the leader, who is Liz on her other horse, would have gone, if not double clear, close enough to be in that lead still. This horse is a really exciting young horse. He won this class last year on his dressage score. And I know she's thinking about the Pan American Games running him here. Easy jump through the water there. She comes to the Seminole Wagon. Good shot there for Quicksilver. Great ride to the corner. 
And this horse, this is the most settled I've seen him. He's usually a real beast cross country, always very honest, but almost a bit strong and, and overly keen. And today he just looks wonderful. He's really settled into his rhythm. Liz is doing her thing, he's doing his thing, and they look to be in really nice sync in the early going here. Good rod from Lizzie. Just saw that brush at the last minute going down the hill and shifted a little bit, and she just sat up and drove him in there to give him that extra bit of confidence. And there's Lindsay at the latter half of the course. Jump into the second water there. Short five to the skinny. Really good ride out to the sea element there for Lindsay. Now we've got the penultimate combination. Jesse Phoenix on Wabbit, a 16-3 hand thoroughbred that she owns herself. It's the last of multiple rides for Jesse in the three star long. This looks like a keen horse, this one. Just eight years old. I've not seen this one before, so I'm guessing it's its first go at this level, and it looks to be quite strong and excited to give it a shot. Another one with the sheepskin on the nose, trying to get him to just pay attention in those last couple strides. This lion, this looks like it has a really, really powerful gallop across the country. Hopefully it wakes up and pays attention here and doesn't fight too much. Oh yeah, easy. Good jump there for Jess. Just sitting in the back seat, supporting him with a little longer rein to give him that confidence as she heads up to the Seminole wagon. Just telling him whoa as she comes up to this jump. Just a little bit keen to that. And now she's got a chance to just put her hands down and let him cruise a little bit as she goes up to the horseshoe down to the corner. Looking for five strides there. One of, a, one of them's done it on four. That was Lindsay Lanier. Got a really nice four just traveling into it. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it just adds one there. Again, some of these greener horses just need a little more time to register what's going on. And Jess did a good job there, just knowing how that was gonna ride. She just sat up and said, hey, come here, just wait. And it worked out really well for her. Just cut away there, going to that skinny brush. I'm gonna assume that Jess popped right over it. Now we go to Liz Halliday Sharp on Cooley Quicksilver, coming to the second water. Good positive ride there. Really good ride out there for Liz. This horse looks like he's just sloping around still. Plenty of gas. Right, so now we're wrapping up the CCI three-star division. So a pretty pretty quiet day here. It looked like everything rode really well. I don't have the live scores with the time in front of me yet, but 
from what we've seen and what we know of Ocala three star long, it looked like a pretty quiet day. I think the time was quite achievable. The horses seemed to be galloping well at the end and it started quite hot in the beginning of the day, but it's just backed off a little bit. There's some cloud coverage now and I think that we're gonna end up having a, a good day for the horses. I think they're gonna come in well. And we're gonna take a, a short break here. One o'clock is the next start for the two star long division. We've got Nilsson Muera da Silva as the starter. So we'll look forward to seeing you then, one o'clock this afternoon. Everything has changed.